YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I posted. A lot of a lot of things has happened since my last video. I actually started working for a different dialysis company. I may go into that a little bit in another video, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss target weight versus estimated dry weight because a lot of new patients to dialysis get somewhat mystified as to what is the target weight? Why is the target weight important? I don't understand what these people are talking about. Number one, the target weight is it's a part of the dialysis prescription, just like how long you run on the machine is a part of the, that dialysis prescription. Based on the physician, it's basically an estimation of what the patient's weight is without any fluid on. And because the doctor doesn't have, you know, x-ray glasses, they can't see physically inside your body. They have to do it based on other parameters that the doctor monitors, such as if the patient has extremely high blood pressure, sometimes that can be due to having excessive fluid in, in the body, in the vessel, blood vessels and whatnot. So the doctor goes by if the person has any edema which is swelling, they usually look at the face, the hands, the feet, they'll listen to the person's lungs, they'll listen to see if they hear anything, they'll um, monitor the person's blood pressure, if the blood pressure is still high, towards the end of the treatment, the physician knows that they need to challenge the person down. And when I say challenge, I mean, they'll go down by maybe a half a kilo, to whatever the person's weight is. For instance, let's say the person weighs 60 kilos, which is a normal size person. And when they come into dialysis, their weight is checked. And let's say they're 62.5 kilograms. The technician knows, okay, their dry weight or target weight is 60. They came in at 62.5. That means they have 2.5 kilograms of fluid on their body. So typically when you get on the dialysis machine, the blood lines have saline in the blood lines and that's considered part of the, the, rinse, the rinse back portion of dialysis. So the technician has to include the saline that you're gonna get in the beginning of the treatment and the saline that you're gonna get at the end of the treatment. And typically it's anywhere from 0.5 kilos to 0.6 kilos, which is about 600 milliliters of fluid, which is about a cup of fluid. It's a lot of fluid, in fact. Actually, it's more than a cup. It's about a cup and a half, maybe 12 ounces of fluid. So they include that. So if you came in at 62.5, that's 2.5 for the fluid that you actually put on, then you have to include the rinse back, which is usually 0.5. So the technician would set the machine to 3.0, which is three liters or three kilograms of fluid. And it's weird because a lot of people who haven't worked in the medical field are not, um, they don't feel confident with the metric. They're usually more confident with the empirical, which is such as pounds and ounces. But typically in medicine, they use the metric, which is kilos, milliliters, and that sort of thing. One liter of fluid or one kilogram of fluid is 32 ounces of liquid or um, a quart. Remember a quart, like your mom used to purchase milk, quart of milk. So um, it helps to kind of put it somewhat into perspective, the kilograms into ounces, how it kind of works. So let's say the same patient, like I said, the machine is set for three kilos. So it, during the treatment, they're gonna remove three kilos of fluid. The reason the target weight is such a big deal is because they've done retrospective studies and they found out that the majority of patients, dialysis patients are going to the hospital all because of fluid. So we're doing a disservice to patients in the dialysis unit by not removing enough fluid or not adequately explaining how much fluid you should be drinking, running the patient a particular amount of time properly, advising the patient, look, we didn't pull off all your fluid. You need to come back tomorrow for an extra treatment. 
So when I initially started in dialysis about 18 years ago, pulling off fluid was like, hey, we pull off like nine kilos on a patient. Patient, no problem. You know, nowadays, they don't want you to pull off nine kilos in one dialysis session because it's actually not good for the heart to pull off that much fluid. And I will touch on that in another video, but right now I'm just talking about target weight and why is target weight important. Typically, like with that same patient I mentioned, the 60 kilo patient, they had 2.5 plus 0.5 for the rinse back. So the dialysis technician set the machine for three kilos total. So that's the total fluid that's going to remove, be removed per that session. Let's say the person says, hey, I'm only running two hours today. The technician cannot just set the machine for two hours. The technician has to set the machine for the prescribed time. Otherwise, the technician is practicing medicine without a license. And so the patient gets upset and like, oh, I only wanted to take off two, I only wanted to run two kilos but it's unsafe to take off three kilos of fluid on someone in two kilos. Even though the person may physically be able to handle it, it's still not safe for the person's, for the person's heart. It's not safe. So nowadays there's been a shift from target dry weight, which we used in the early 2000s, to target weight that we're, what we're currently using. The last few years, there's been a shift towards more target weight. So the person more or less understands this is a target we need to achieve. This is something we need to achieve every single session. Because back in the day, a person put on five or six kilos, we could only take off four. So they had maybe a kilo, a kilo and a half. And what they would do, they would say, hey, I don't want to come back for an extra session. I'll just take it off the rest on Wednesday. I'll take the rest off on Friday. And that's just something we would typically do. We wouldn't really recommend extra treatments for patients unless the patient was maybe short of breath, unless the patients had a history of being hospitalized for fluid overload. Maybe the person had pneumonia and that sort of thing. So nowadays, what the standard practice nowadays is to invite the person back for the next day to remove that fluid because we know now that it is very dangerous for the person to have on an extra kilo of fluid, even though they say, oh, I can take it off the rest of the week. No, we don't want to do that. We want to encourage patients to come back the very next day to pull off the rest of the flu so they can actually feel better and it can be better for their heart. Because when you're carrying on that extra fluid above your target weight, you could have a heart attack, you could have a stroke, all these different events could, could happen to someone. So that's why it's real important to understand what is your target weight and understand that the target weight can adjust depending on if you gain a lot of if you gain a lot of weight, you've been eating more or you've been eating less or let's say a patient, God forbid, but it does happen, has an amputation, their target weight definitely changes. A patient with an extended hospitalization for let's say something else, their target weight often changes. New patients in the very beginning your target weight is not going to be the same the first, I'm going to say, 30, 30, 60, 90 days. Your target weight is definitely going to change during that period of time. Because oftentimes people start dialysis and they'll swear up and down, I don't know what happened, but I lost 30 pounds once I started dialysis. And we're like, yeah, because we actually pulled off the fluid that was on your body. Patients say, oh my Lord, I feel so much better since I started dialysis. I can breathe. I can walk to the mailbox. All of this is because we got the person to their actual target weight. That is their weight without excessive fluid in the vessels and the tissues. That's their weight where their blood pressure is normal and there's no presence of edema or the nurse or physician doesn't hear anything rattling in their lungs. So target weight is extremely important. It's also important that the patient understands that if you're 60 kilos, you need a projected pre-weight. What is that? Well, let's say the person weighs 60 kilos. The standard, the recommendation is that you're not to gain more than 5% of your target weight. To make it easy, 10% of 60 is 6. Half of 6 is 3. That's 5%. We don't want that 60 kilo patient to come in with any more than 2.5 
Yeah, I know I said three, but you got to remember you're going to get the rinse back too. But we have some patients because of cardiac issues or other issues, they cannot pull off three kilos. So that person needs to act accordingly. But most patients, typically they can pull off their fluid provided. They come to all their sessions. They run their full time. That will help you to achieve your target weight. And it's been proven in studies conducted over the past 20 plus years that when you consistently hit your target weight for every single treatment when you're done, you will live longer. It's been proven. So people always say, how long can you live on dialysis? I said, well, a lot has to do with that. You know, do you come to your sessions? Do you stay your full time? Are you able to achieve your target weight each time? So target weight is extremely important in being a successful dialysis patient, living long, feeling good, not just living a long time, but actually feeling good. Can you imagine carrying an extra 32 ounces or a quart of fluid around two, three days before your next session? Target weight is extremely important and we definitely want to educate patients, stress this information to patients so that patients can fully understand, hey, when I hit my target weight, I feel better. My dialysis sessions aren't as bad when I hit my target weight. So I don't, I don't want to rattle on too much, but yeah, that's pretty much the essence of target weight. If you have any questions, any comments, please put those down below. I respond to 99.9% .9 of all comments. So like I said, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you.